saying this, why march? Why march for so long? Why march for so hard? A track so hard a journey, why march? That's because all across the length and breadth of this country, our citizens are calling out and they're saying to those in Washington that our lives matter, our votes matter, our jobs matter, our schools matter. They're saying to us, somebody somewhere must stand up for our nation. Somebody somewhere must be you move beyond. who were he alive today would be in his 80s by the name of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. who said, if a man has not found anything for which he's willing to die, he is not fit to live. There is a generation of older folks who gave their lives for what little we have. And I'll just tell you how I think about them. I ask myself this question, if they did all that they did with what little they had, why, why, why can't I do more with all that I've been given? So when we think about uh, both income inequality on one side, and social immobility on the other side, with the two being very much related. Uh, a rising tide of income inequality where uh, people are not doing as well as their forebears. When we look at the children of the middle class having less of an opportunity to move up, when we see opportunities circumscribed by zip code, those are challenges that have profound implications They're those who look at our august history and they arrive at the conclusion that our history is uncompelling, our present uncertain, and our future unclear. I submit to you that our storied, rich, deeply and profoundly democratic history is a floor and not a ceiling. It is that which we stand on and rise above. It is not a ceiling from which we shrink.